Central Asia has some very strange cities. I don't know, I'm sure some of you have heard of Astana, Kazakhstan, but I don't think many of you have heard of Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, and I do have family ties to this region myself. My uh, uncle died recently. Um, he was from Uzbekistan. And um, the city is essentially made out of marble. White marble buildings. That's not concrete, that's marble. And the city breaks multiple world records in many different regards. And there's some strange imagery and symbolism all over the place. Of course, it doesn't compare to Astana, but there are some peculiar things like, what's that? Is that the new sun coming out of the Star of David? The Star of David being Bala teaches that God created the world with seven spiritual building blocks, his seven emotional attributes. Accordingly, the entire creation is a reflection of these seven foundational attributes. Right, right there. Correspondingly, the Star of, Star of David contains seven compartments, six protruding from the center. I'm not saying that this is necessarily the Star of David. We're talking about a Muslim country here. But there is some very peculiar stuff here. <laughs> what is this? Is that Saturn's... Uh, uh, it's not a cube, it's a sphere, but it's a black sphere. In star inside of the star. Inside of the hexagram. Isn't that just fascinating stuff? You have a marble city with all these strange fountains and strange statues and all this absolute craziness. Well, Astana, on the other hand, is uh, in Kazakhstan, Ashgabat being in Turkmenistan, uh, is somewhat of a reflection of iPad Go 2 with um, the Golden Gate, the bridge between heaven and, heaven and earth with the two golden pillars. And this may look interesting to you. What do you see in the background there? It's hard to see, it's a crappy picture and a crappy phone. But you have water, you have a, a bird made out of water. Now, I'm sure it's probably just the national bird or what have you. But there's some very interesting and intricate geometry placed on the ground. And immediately what comes to mind is the phoenix flooding the world, going towards the pyramid. Remember the scene in iPad Go 2? What comes out when he births? What comes out is a flood of water. And he's head, the phoenix is headed straight for the pyramid again. Now, I mean, this can't be a coincidence. And this was all built fairly recently, by the way. So, which makes me wonder if Central Asia will play a significant role Assuming the world isn't destroyed, if it's not, then are these going to be capital cities of the New World Order, which I believe there will be multiple capital cities, administrative capitals, financial capitals, and what have you. But what comes to mind when you see this 
anything at all about this so astana is essentially a reflection of i put go to and you have the phoenix coming out of the water and what it, what is it going towards is birthing a new world i i perceive that this is all just my opinion by the way I'm sure there's, you could look this all up and there's uh, national significance pertaining to Kazakhstan for whatever this stuff is supposed to mean, right? Yes. But I'm just trying to look at this from a different perspective. And even more than that, you have the new world rising out of the old, which is, it's on the old world, is it not? And even back here, you have an egg you have the fertilized egg that our buddy ginger super ginger jesus fertilized himself when he entered the birth canal like he did in ipad go to so that he could birth himself and rise out of the earth in a sea of water as a symbolizing the new world and the new God who will reign the new world. Makes sense a little bit. Maybe not to you, but it makes sense to me. All right.